that's it. Finished. All presenting done for 2020. Um, finished off with the AstraZeneca session this afternoon. Um, did it go well? I think it did. Um, there was good engagement. I felt like the session itself on paper really hit the mark. It fitted the brief. That's how it felt. Um, and there was pretty good engagement um, throughout. And it was fun. Um, overran by about five minutes, uh, which um, isn't isn't great. But uh, I, I sort of asked permission if I could go over by a couple of minutes in the final breakout room. Um, I think that's kind of one of the things I've learned from these, certainly these last few talks, is just like when you're doing breakout rooms in shorter sessions like that, you've got to make sure that there's kind of you get lighter on the content um, because it does take it does take a while just to get everyone into it. It always takes longer than you think it's going to take. Um, and we had like four or five minutes in each of the rooms anyway, so it wasn't like it was um, it wasn't like there were long rooms. So. I just kind of need to wait and hear back what the feedback was like. That's the thing. Um, that's the feedback on the chat was very good, very positive. Um, lots of good tips. Lots of you, I could tell that people were taking it on board and they were coming up with their ideas. Um, but uh, the proof of the pudding is always in what gets put into practice, what gets implemented. And and I think um, hopefully I should get some feedback as to what the general vibe was from the session afterwards. Um, but I was, I, was, I was happy enough with the design of it. I think there's probably a few things I could have delivered a little bit better, a little bit more smoothly. Um, but um, it, was, it was a solid session, I'd say. And yeah, that's it for 2020. So that was the, I think, the 56th session, paid session this year, um, which I'm uh, very pleased about because actually looking back at last year, I think there were only 12. So 20 had been the target. And I've hit 56, so I'm I'm very happy with that. Um, and I've got a good springboard now as we go into 2021. I've got to spend some time working through goals and targets and exactly what it is I want to achieve in the in the next 12 months, um, and and what's going to really drive me and motivate me to keep moving forwards with it, and how I'm going to do that as well. Because it's all very well and good saying, well, these are the numbers I want to hit. Um, it's something else when you actually try and come up with a plan to make that happen. So uh, I'm going to wrap up today by saying this uh, it was another good day. Um, there's a few I'm not down any tools yet completely. I've got a few more things I have to do before the end of uh, end of the year. Um, but uh, th th in terms of presenting and speaking engagements, that's it all done. And I'll be uh, back again tomorrow, I'm sure, with more updates. There's still things I'm going to be doing moving me closer towards the speaking goals um, and one of those things actually is getting some more clarity on just what those speaking goals are and getting closer to that so thanks for watching thanks for listening give it a like subscribe to the channel and check back in again tomorrow for another daily update bye for now